Right people, welcome in. Welcome to Back to Europe with Deportivo La Coruña. Last time you joined me, if you joined me, we were knocked out of the Copa del Rey. Very disappointing, a game I thought we should have been winning, but we're out. So we're back to league action and there's a few things that I need to tell you. There's a few games you need to get caught up on. So let's head over to the save and I'll show you where we are. Right, here we are at the save and there is the fixtures as you can see at the top the defeat at Mirandes I keep going on about it but I am disappointed anyway uh, patchy form after that a draw at home against Huesca a late goal there made that we meant that we only got a point out of that game two wins and Dora and Cartagena would expect to win both of those games quite easy and then Zaragoza at home they are the top team in the division. Uh, we were unlucky to, to go down 1-0. Unlucky not to get anything out of that game. But once again, being unlucky doesn't get you anything. Then a draw away from home. Probably not to be sniffed at the way things are going. And today we take on Elche at home. A game that we are looking to get maximum points out of. Uh, I'll show you why. There we are. We're at the top and we've slipped down a little bit, but there's only a couple of points covering the top sides apart from Zaragoza who are, well, they're running away with it. So that's one automatic promotion spot gone. Uh, we're vying for the other one or else it's the lottery of the playoffs. So um, here is the bad news. This guy... He's been great for us down the left-hand side. He's out with torn knee, knee ligaments and he is going to be out for quite some time. Uh, as you can see down the bottom there, out for seven to ten weeks. So his, his season's over. Um, Dario Provader, he's out for another at least a week. Um, he's a lone player, but we, we do miss him because we, we haven't got a great deal of cover. Um, so I did have to do a little bit of um, not panic buying or panic business, but we did have to bring in uh, Mark Cardona. He's a he's a centre forward, and he is covering for Dario Provedo. who is injured. Um, he's in on loan, but he did cost us eighty thousand to get in. Um, the, the injury situation is not actually great for us at the moment. As you can see from this screen, we've got players who are, are not fit because they've returned from injury and we can't even fill the full 12 substitutes that we're permitted. We're putting out a strong side today, but there's no cover if anyone gets crocked. So we'll see how we do. Um, I'm playing a balanced mentality. As we are at home. Elche come into this game off the back of, I think they've they've won four on the trot. So we are not favourites for this game, to be honest, even though Elche find themselves in a, a lowly position. But I'm still looking to get maximum points from this game. So it's important that we make full use of home advantage. So let's go out there and get a result. Absolutely. Half decent response to that. Uh, Paris Adot is composed and we need him to be a bit more keener than that, don't we? So, yeah, he seems pleased rather than motivated. That's what I was really looking for. Anyway, opposition instructions, I'm relying on the assistant. He seems to know what he's doing. So, off we go. Let's hopefully get three points out of this game. So, we get things underway. Jose Angel in midfield. Back to Somalinos. He's looking up, he's weighing his options. Safety ball. Yanateke, Jose Angel, 
PK down this left hand side and the keeper falls on it but slightly encouraging in the opening minute and not very much happening so we try and build from the back Valcarce down the right ball in Lu Lucas loses out we need to nick this back and we do Villares, Somalinos Romero Romero again Paris Adot Villares Jose and Gail through to Lucas snapshot he's hit the woodwork and it's a goal kick We've got some defending to do or oh, a little bit of pinball in there in the box and we've conceded the corner it looks like comes over we should deal with that and we do but it's going to come back and the highlight ends thankfully so we've Coming up to 21 minutes gone, it's a corner to us on the far side. Lucas will lift this one in. And we don't get on the end of it. Lucas is probably going to be called offside, but the shot's gone over anyway. At least we had a shot. So it's a throw. Jose Angel Romero can get this one over, but he plays it into PK. Lucas thought he was going to spin and shoot there, but he didn't. Villares shoots. It's pretty tame in the end. And the keeper gathers. Now we've got some defending to do. Over it comes. And we've dealt with it for the time being. Oh no. Oh. We made a mess of dealing with that, didn't we? An absolute mess. Anyway, corner to us. We need to make something of this. Lucas sends it over. It's deep. Villares cleared. And the Teke looks up, plays it in. Villares is going backwards. Yana Teke, Paris a dot down the right hand side. Pablo infield to Somalinos out to the left hand side. Romero can pick someone out, decides not to. Need some help now. Inside, Jose Angel. It's a great ball in. And somehow we don't score. And we don't win the header in midfield. Things not going our way at the moment. Paris Adot had a chance to gather that and do something with it other than give it straight back but he decided to do just that and Morienti has been given time and space over on this near side yet again almost made us pay but he is a corner to them which we need to defend in it comes header away 
Oh. <laughs> he should have scored there. I've got to say that should have been two nil. Dodged a bullet there, I think. We've got to do something to turn this round. We look more likely to go two nil down than we do to get get back in the game. So just five minutes to go to half time. And we get a foot in Romero. Good tackle. Needs to do something positive with it. Jose Angel decides that he doesn't want the ball. He's going to give it straight back. Dick. So I'll ask for mine to rip into him at half time. It's only 1 0, but. Oh, okay, just make a tackle. Do something. We're just making it too easy for him. He's offside, surely. And again, again, we don't want the ball. 2 0. Absolute shambles. Absolute shambles, and it's going to force me into going positive when I don't really want to. Like I said, we got we got a good side out. But apart from, um, well, I don't, I've, I'm a little bit lost for words actually after that first half. Um, yeah, Paris a dot playing badly, even though he's motivated. Uh, I don't know what to tell him, to be honest. I want a much better second half, that's for sure. Lucas Perez is composed. I don't want you to be composed. I want you jollied up for this. 6.5 for the first half, so I'm not happy with that. He's still composed. Don't seem to be able to shake this guy up. Right, the assistant needs to earn his cornea with his instructions. Didn't cover himself in glory in the first half. PK 6.2, Vocase, uh, PK 6.3, Vocase 6.2. Uh, Paris a dot 6.2. It, it's not good, is it? It's not good. I'm, I'm going to make some changes. It's only half time, but um, PK I think can make way. For Mila, Paris a dot. Uh, to be honest, like I said, we haven't got a great deal of cover in any positions. Um, I, I'm just going to go with that. You know, I, th I think this has got um, defeat written all over it anyway. Not like me to, to give up at half time, but the writing's on the wall, I think. Anyway, hope springs eternal. Let's see what we can do in the second half. Good tackle, but we're not going to get the ball. So it's all the way back to the keeper. And again... So we need to start pressing in those areas if we're going to get anything out of this game. So Belcarce, again, gives the ball up. Doesn't want it. And it's a decent save at the expense of a corner. 
but I am not enjoying this game of football. Ball over the top, and still they come up with it, it's, and it's gone out. Thankfully, we can get this clear. Six shots we've had, none on target. We're bossing possession. Fat lot of good it's done us. And, and, and that is... <laughs> That's why we're losing 2-0. But we've picked it up. Villares. Can we get a goal to get back in this? Jose Angel. And Mailer's got time and space. He gets himself in the box and he's through in on goal and he does nothing with it. So it's, that means it's seven shots with none on target. Honestly, this is poor in the extreme. Romero with a throw. Jose Angel, infield, Yanateke. Somalinos midfield, Villares, Vocase takes his man on. Back to Jamie Sanchez. Vocase with a shot and he scored. He's beat the keeper at the near post. We're back in the game. We are back in the game, people. But hang on. Don't tell me. I should think so too. So I've praised all the players for the goal we've scored and none of them are very happy about the, the praise. Seems I can't do anything right at the moment. Anyway, Romero down the left-hand side. Mela is dispossessed. 20 minutes to go. And it, we've, we've got the ball, but it's not great, is it? It's not great at all. Somalinos with it. Looks up. Infield. Yanateke. Mela. Jose Angel picks up the pieces. Belcarce inside shoots. Not far away, but it was never going in. Right, let's win this in midfield. Heads. <laughs> so predictable as well. There, good foot in, but we don't get the ball. And they're round the back, and there you go. 3 1. Like I said, I think I'd given this one up a long time ago. So, barring a miracle in the last 12 minutes. I mean, they are in a run of good form, but we haven't even looked like being a threat in this game. So coming up, 85 minutes. Jamie Sanchez. Jose Angel, through ball to Lucas, who shoots. And again, Nothing comes of it. So, just a minute to go. I'll, I'll be glad just to get away from here. Not another one, please. So, in it comes. We deal with it and it's over the top. 
and the referee brings our suffering to an end. Uh, we weren't good enough and I don't have the words to express how angry that makes me. Absolutely. I think the water bottle, this time, they can have that. So, uh, Villares didn't like that. And nor did Lucas Perez. I mean, I've told them they were crap. Lucas Perez has only got a 6.4 rating and, and he doesn't like what I'm telling him. So, uh, I'm not happy with your performance. He appears inspired now. Anyway, what does that mean in terms of the table? Well, we're, we're still in the mix, but, you know, it's that was a terrible performance today. Absolutely uh, embarrassing, if I'm honest. And I'm, I'm glad to bring this video to an end. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it, even if I haven't. Uh, if you have, please drop a like, um, leave a comment, hit the bell notification, share the video, all that good stuff. But most of all, please subscribe to the channel. Share the pain. Okay, thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.